radio anniversary was yesterday. 26 years, did you ever think I'd make it? Did you ever think you'd make it? Well, many of you responded to that, and I'm not going to sit and indulge myself during a crisis like we're having in this country today. But I certainly will mention that yesterday was the 26th anniversary of the Savage Nation. Does any of my friends, we thought they'd never end, and I wanted to thank all of you for so many great years. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about the 26 years. We'll talk about the details now. $2 trillion coronavirus relief bill, certain time and place for everything. This woman should be removed from the Congress and put in prison for what she's doing to the American people. We'll also talk about what's in that deal. I actually have the research on what is inside the $2 trillion Senate coronavirus deal. Everyone, uh, how this goes, you can say, well, well, good, we need the money now, let me have it, fine. It means the value of the dollar will diminish significantly. It means we will have runaway inflation. It means that the horrifying images of the Weimar Republic may not be such a fantasy at all. Inflation was so great, you saw Germans with wheelbarrows full of German currency to buy a loaf of bread. Oh, Two trillion dollars, where did it come from? Print, 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 print. It's blocking the money, not because they're not socialists, because they want more goodies. If they could build more abortion centers with one trillion of the two trillion, Schumer and Pelosi would do so. Also today, we're going to talk a lot about SARS-CoV-2. It's two is what the scientists are calling it, because it really is a SARS-like disease. It's a severe acute respiratory syndrome with a new iteration. What can you do about it? Well, I'm going to talk with you about how to take vitamin C, Dr. Cathcart's protocol. I'm also taking N-acetylcysteine now. I'll tell you why and how that works. Stream media says it's not a bioweapon that was uh, released by the Chinese, one that escaped the lab, their biowarfare laboratory in Wuhan. I think there is enough evidence to support that. You're not going to hear it from fake tapper. Fake tapper can only fake the news, the, the live market. That's been debunked. It's not from bats. That anniversary show with your memories. I said, what are your memories? Anybody remember the early days of the Savage Nation? And was, I don't know how people are taking it. I mean, I have a radio show that I've done out of my home for many years. Friends in the city I go see once in a while. I go out to dinner every night if I could. And you see the paranoid women fighting over the toilet paper. First deal. Yeah, that's a big one. SARS-CoV-2, what we know about it, where it came from. How much vitamin C should you take? How long have I been telling you the homeless should have been quarantined first before you? Well, what's going to happen? You haven't seen it, the beginnings of what's going to happen. <laughs> Sad, but the cowardly politicians who have no qualms, no compunction to lock you up and throw the key away, would not touch the poor people in the homeless communities who were all infected with one disease or another. What can I say to you? killed myself to get my PhD at the University of California at Berkeley. I earned it in 1978 in three fields. Does it make me the world's leading expert in epidemiology? Absolutely not. Some of the other students were really good statisticians, but they could never see the big picture, none of them. They were bean counters. See, most epidemiologists that you're seeing today on television are bean counters. They know how to run numbers through computer programs if they can't see their nose at the end of their face. They don't. I'm on the radio all these years, 26 years yesterday. Kids at home today, I'm gonna to take a s slow divergence Years ago, I read that book as one of the, my favorite stories <clears throat> called, um, well, I got to look at the title truthfully. It's about a bear, kindly dogs and kindly bears. People didn't know I could write children's stories. I want to take you on a little ride today. In addition to talking about all these serious subjects, I want to give you a little children's story. Any resemblance to people or